Hi folks and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Today we're doing a fun, simple, delicious rolled and stuffed meatloaf. We're going to fill it with mozzarella cheese and ham. We'll get a sauce on top. You're going to love it. Let's get to it. In a large mixing bowl, we'll add two pounds of lean ground beef and two eggs. One cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs and a half of a white onion finely diced. Now the reason I don't saute those onions is I want all that moisture in my meatloaf. It will just penetrate throughout and it's bursting with flavor. That's the way to do it. Add two tablespoons of ketchup and two tablespoons of mustard one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of granulated garlic powder, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. You want to mix this all up thoroughly. Take your time. Ensure all those flavors are mixed evenly throughout our ground beef. When it's all mixed well, begin to form it into a rectangle. Eventually that's the shape we want, but we'll start it out in the bowl. Now on your counter we're going to need some plastic wrap. Just stretch out two sheets on top of your counter. This plastic wrap will help us make this into a nice roll. You can also use parchment paper for this process, but I find the plastic wrap is easier to hang on to and leaves it with a nice smooth texture on the beef. Using your hands, form it into a rectangle. We want to get it about a half an inch thick throughout. Well, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's add some ham and cheese. Take note that I'm leaving about an inch or so of the ground beef exposed around the entire edge. I'll start out with some thin sliced deli ham. Now we'll get to our mozzarella cheese. I had a nice fresh mozzarella ball and I cut it into strips. Just simply place the strips on top of the ham and then it'll be time to get rolling this up. Now here's where that plastic wrap comes in handy. You just lift it up a little bit at a time and roll it up. When you're rolling it up you want to gently press down on top of the meat. That way it turns it into a nice solid roll. Gently pinch the ends together in as well. And then it'll be time to get it on top of a cookie sheet and parchment paper. Use the plastic wrap like a cradle to help lift it over to the pan. Place it into a preheated oven at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. At the 40 minute mark, I'm going to take my loaf out of the oven and then baste it with my homemade marinara sauce. You can use whatever sauce you like, barbecue sauce, pizza sauce, ketchup, but it'll give it a nice glaze over top our lovely roll. Using a spoon and a brush, I'm going to generously cover the entire loaf. This will help keep it moist as well. Now I put a probe inside the meatloaf 
to monitor the temperature. And I'll take it out at 155 and cover it, and it will raise up to 160. So check with the thermometer, make sure you get it up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Back into our 375 oven. It'll only take about 10 to 20 minutes to get up to our desired temperature and then for the glaze to adhere to our meatloaf roll. I covered my meatloaf roll with tin foil and let it rest for 10 minutes. And now it's time to slide it onto the cutting board and let's take a look at the inside. Oh my, so juicy and cheesy. Let's serve it up. What a great presentation for your guests. You could lay it on a bed of greens, and when it's sliced up, it just looks so delicious. Well, I gotta try this. Look at the presentation. Lay that on the table. The swirls of ham and cheese look beautiful. Oh, boy. I'm digging in. Oh. Wow. So moist and delicious. The cheese and the ham just go beautifully with that meatloaf. A side of potatoes, your favorite veg. And what's even better tomorrow, leftovers. I'll make a nice sandwich out of this, put a little extra marinara on it. Oh, forget about it. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya. Thank you.